Welcome to the Empire of this Rampage, and welcome back to my Principality of Serbia campaign for the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project mod for Medieval 2, where we're going to continue with the from last time. We're at this point in time, we have now been able to get to a point where basically we don't have to worry about Poland anymore. We're now trying to see if we can finish off Hungary, Your which Majesty. at the moment right now, I am still trying to see if I can seduce one of their generals. That was actually a pretty good one. We're still trying to continue just holding Verat at the moment and gather more forces together so we can push on into them. Hopefully, once we are done with Hungary, I think we're at a point where we can then start trying to push back into and maybe deal with the forces of uh, the Byzantines. I think basically what we'd be trying to do is, if I could, I'd love to be able to take, like, this castle, this castle, and this castle all at the same time. And then we can really consolidate, like, with those three territories under my control. Even if they have a lot of large armies, I can still do a good amount of damage to the enemy forces. If we can get those castles, because they've been able to build them up. But for right now, though, I do have you. I'm trying to bring these guys over here. So let's grab you. All of these guys. I'm trying to grab a really nice force here. So for once, I have... This is a pretty elite army. It's got a lot of good cav, horse archers, and everything of the like. And we're going to be bringing this straight on forward. I'm yes. hoping. I'm trying to get a general's bodyguard to watch over these guys. Or if I can just, like, get a general's bodyguard. I need somebody to command these guys. Because we had one army break away from us before uh, a last video. And uh, that's the remnants of them right there. Um, I'm hoping we do not have that happen again. Please don't. But let's fight these guys. This is pretty easy. Honestly, I think my horse archers alone could take you guys out. I maybe need to bring somebody up, even if they're not a good general's bodyguard for melee, or for military. Somebody. Just bring somebody up with these guys so they don't rebel, because I can't have that happen. Not with an army this good for us. Because I think once we're done with Hungary, I think I will be able to start focusing, focusing on the Byzantines. Because let's have it so, uh, you guys up, you guys up. My Malik Cap, I have no infantry in here. Uh, that's okay. I actually don't think I really need to use anybody but my horse archers, actually. So maybe my Cap, but mainly horse archers. As let's have, um, let's see. I have like three of you guys. Okay, you three. There we go. So you three over here, over the side here. You guys over to this side here. And then my skirmishers, I think I can just keep you as you are. I'll move my one infantry unit forward. And then my melee cav, I'll move up as well. Because basically we just want to make sure they don't just charge into us. Because as long as they don't charge into us, I can just take this army out with just skirmishers. Because like right now, horse archers are in position, or getting in position. It's like you guys right there. You guys like right around here. Try and specifically target the mailed knights, if anything, as well. We don't need to worry about the infantry that much. Those guys are a lot easier to deal with, with my other guys. So get you guys a little bit closer, focus on those mailed knights. Stay away from them, right there. Yeah, a third of the enemy army is already dead. Some of them are trying to make their way towards us. If I have to, I can charge into you. Let's get you guys over here. You guys over here. You guys keep firing into this unit. Same with you guys. These guys are breaking. I, I don't even think we... Oh, I took some damage from Friendly Fire. Damn it. I was going to say, we might be able to win this without taking any damage whatsoever. But no. Friendly Fire did some a little bit there as I was trying to adjust my cavalry. You guys kind of back up here. You keep getting a little bit closer. And I might need to charge into this unit now. Yeah, my melee cav. Let's get you to run into these guys. These guys keep trying to run back here. T72. He's broken. Okay, don't. No, I'll try and run him off the map at least. Horse archers now just uh, focus on these spearmen here. Just focus on them. Melee cap, they shatter instantly. That's perfect. Yeah, we can just end the battle. Yeah, they didn't kill anybody. It's literally I just accidentally shot some of my guys. So that's not bad. But no, I, I love this army. I, I love this army. I need to get more infantry, like proper infantry, into this force. And then this is actually a pretty good army. Because then we have a good amount of archers, we have a good amount of cav, good amount of horse archers. So we just need some infantry to support and hold the front line. So what we're going to do is, let me see, so... Man of the hour, thank you, yes! Okay, your loyalty is okay, but I will take you. I, I will take you. So now, um, try and grab me some infantry. Uh, oh, I saw this cat this year too, as well. Is there anybody else that I recruited? 
Not at the moment. Okay. So yeah, you guys are just training them. This army now at least has a general's bodyguard. I love that. Um, first, just let me do this. I want to make it so you guys are actually grouped up in a way that is cleaner. There we go. That's better. Um, but you know, this army is now going to be making its way up towards Hungary. And I'll see if you... Well, it looks like next turn I'll be able to try and steal him away. As long as he has not been married. He had like a 74% chance of being uh, stolen last time. So hopefully we can still do that. You now... Also, I do want to try and check something. I want you to go scout over here. And I want to see what's going on with this island. Because if we're going to start trying to attack the Byzantines, I want to try and make sure we can get to a point where we can get some... We want easy battles to take as much land from them as quickly as possible um, that we can then hold. And so, like, I know that island is a pretty good area for us to take. And then, like, these three castles for sure are really good areas for us to take. Let's see. Beauty in the Rus. Now, where is this general? Let's see. Assassination mention. Way over there. Uh, what do I get? 1,500 points. Um, kind of tempted to because I'm, I'm losing. I'm, I'm not making that much money. I have a little bit, but not a lot. Um, so for right now, that's not good. Um, please don't attack me. Yet. I'm not ready for you guys. Um, first and foremost, again, I want to try and clear up these rebels as we're making our way up towards getting to Hungary. Um, I think you guys are gonna keep stabbing here. Keep trying to train you guys. Slowly but surely, we're gonna whittle that army down. Um, this fleet here, go sit there. But yeah, let's see if we'll be able to try and. I want to try and see if I can get rid of you, all these rebels. Because how much devastation is that causing right now? Um, about 200, right there. And then this city. Is this in. It's hard to tell if this is in Verad or if this is in the other city. This one's got about 500, yeah. So I want to try and get rid of these rebels if we possibly can. Especially you. I want to get my revenge on you, little shits. Let's see. Fit for the crown. We just do not have all the land yet, so we cannot become crowned just yet. So we can't do that. Finish that in Napoli. Um, let's get... Because this gives a health bonus at the end. I might just save my money right now, actually. Because I could build something. I just don't need to build something. Uh, yeah, we don't want to reduce the population growth right now for here. So I think we'll, I think we're going to save my money for right now. I think that's okay. I, I will at least, I need to get more um, spies recruited. So let's get some more recruited around here. Because we're going to need them to be able to help. Uh, oh, also, I don't have a merchant right there. So grab that. And then you already have the max amount of free upkeep you have. Okay. Now you... Uh, did you lose sight of him? Yes. Uh, let's see, I do not have a spy over here. Um. Okay. I'm assuming... I'm is he just in the city? Traveling. Uh, no. I be a part of a proposition? Damn it. Your Majesty. I could bring our peoples closer together, my Where did he go? Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is... Let me bring you over yes. this way. I'm going to try and see if we can help find him. Because I want that general. That general had such good stats. So try and go over that way. See if you can try and find him. Um, I'll bring one of my spies yes. over here to help conversion still. Let's see, the Dominican Order has been founded. Alrighty, let's see, so that will increase the limit of priests. Okay, energy report. Getting a little bit of money still, which is good. Uh, let's see, you guys just finished some stuff over here. Um, ooh, this one actually has a lot of stuff. Quarries or this? Um, the roads aren't going to do much because you are... Oh, actually, actually, you probably get... Oh, I get fire ships. Um... These are the same thing. Port with shipwright, port with shipwright. One's cheaper. <laughs> can I only build one? I can build both for some reason. This one's cheaper, so I'm gonna build the cheaper variant. Uh, don't know why I can do both. But okay. So there's that regium then. Um, I would say, let's try and get you guys the better port too. Oh yeah, that's gonna start getting some good trade too. Okay, so now, let's first keep stabbing you guys. So right there. Who is my and there. Me? You guys are getting better. Yeah, I can almost start using you for other uh, um, actions soon. First and foremost, let me try and see. So, yes. where is this guy? Oh. I am not here uh, is that the one I want? What do you no, it's not him. He's not here. Sire. Very where is he? 
moving into position. Where did he go? Yes. Moving quietly. No further to the Is you? An honor, I don't my see lord. him. Do I seek a suit or just a no, they don't have anything over there. Your <gasps> Hopefully he didn't just disappear. That's my hope. Okay, now though, let's start trying to do this fight here, because I want to try and have you. So I fight you guys, get rid of these, all of these men. Because slowly but surely now I want to have it so that this army is the might of Serbia. And now I can start trying to have it so they can start pushing forward into Hungary. This is like the best army I can recruit. Like, I don't know, uh, well there is, there is like one more infantry unit I can get later on, I know. Um, that is stronger than the one I can't currently have. So, there is a stronger version of this army still. Um, but let's have it so, for the most part, archers, you guys will be set up there. I'm going to have it so my horse archers will get you guys to start trying to harass initially. So just start here, start the battle. Go around the side here of my melee cow. Possibly just go group up over here. And we'll see if they're going to advance on us. Because I've got my basic infantry, who I can get to move up here. Uh, they are moving up with their crossbows, so actually just have my cow charge straight in there. Yeah, charge straight at their skirmishers. My skirmisher cav, you'll be able to just start pelting them from here. Uh, they are getting some shots. Ceasefire there for a second. Ceasefire, ceasefire. Yep, just break all the skirmishers. Here we go. Melee cav then, just kind of go off to the side. And then let's just kind of let them be shot at a little bit more. So you guys skirmishers run back on. You guys just keep backing away from units, as this is just all a bunch of basic infantry. So those guys will ignore. We'll have my cav. Let's get you guys back here. We're going to try and run them down. Are you guys going to come back? They do have their one cav unit. But I don't know if I care that much. Half their army's already dead. Yeah, these guys will break instantly. Melee cav, focus on them. The enemy are badly Hopefully they'll break. I have a lot of heavy cav here. Oh yeah, there you go. If we continue like just this, shatter that dude. There you go. Let's get out of there. Get out of melee combat. Because these are just peasants. Peasants, crossbows, crossbow militia, skirmisher cav, get over here. I don't even know how you guys took damage. Let's see, number wise, yeah, 70% are already dead. We need to shatter you guys, and then we've won, because they are rebels. So horse archers, you gotta get a little bit closer. Melee cav, keep trying to run everybody down. Yeah, when I have a ton of these units, they actually do a lot. Hit the sergeant crossbowman and just end the battle so we don't have any more friendly fire. Yeah, no, that, you guys actually got some kills that time. But no, I love that. I love this army already. I just need like one more unit of infantry so it's a little bit more balanced. Um, and then I think this is actually pretty good. Like, it's, it's going to be mainly a cav focused army, but I think that's okay. Just because melee cav and uh, or just cav in general in medieval 2 is pretty damn strong. But there we go. So now I'll have you uh, keep making your way forward. And then it'll take us about three turns total uh, to get over to you guys. But I also want to take out this army of rebels. And then I also want to take out this army of rebels. So we have to keep slowly making my way up there. Um, I will have you go try and see if you can get this gold again for us. Also, I am going to try and see. Um, to get you guys to like me more, uh, I am going to try and offer a regular tribute of a very tiny amount for a really long time. So if you guys betray me, um, let's try and offer like 30 turns, and I'll see if you guys are going to take the ceasefire here. So it's a very small amount, and if you guys accept it, okay, no, nope, still not going to You guys gonna even just have just a normal one? It's generous, and they still just don't give a shit. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're just dead set. Eventually, they'll accept a ceasefire with me. Don't know when, but at some point they will. Let's see, a new heir for the Papal States. Okay, interesting. Also, how am I doing money-wise? <laughs> Not the best. Okay, let's see. So for right now, Death of Natural Causes. Ah, oh, this guy in Regio. At least you guys are still happy. And then Relations Worsened. Yeah, Papal States don't like me that much right now. That's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is... Ready to yeah, you're still trying to make your way up here. Continuing on. This yes. army... Let's get rid of this guy. And then also, I kind of want to grab... Let's see, so... The enemy lies defeated. We are victors. I'm not going to merge everybody. But you go in here. And then I'm going to grab uh, you and you. Bring you into this army, because I don't need them in here. That way I can try and retrain that cab unit later. 
Uh, but let's push you. Ah, oh, I don't know how to movement with you. Yes, Lord. Uh, let's have you lead the assault then. So I'll command this myself, and then uh, basically I'll just have you run off the map as soon as I get here. I just need this army basically, because then we can get rid of this, get rid of the army that rebelled against us. Then we'll start making my way over to Hungary after this. I still want to see if I can find that general's bodyguard that I was trying to seduce before we siege their city. Because with what they have, they're not going to be able to stop this. So let's just get you over there, start the battle. You withdraw off the map instantly. I don't want you here. You're just here to start the fight. I just need everybody else. Because basically it'll be my uh, horse archers I think should be able to do like most of this. Well, you and the calf too. So like, let's get you guys over here. You guys, because they had a decent amount of skirmishers in this army. Yeah, they do. So get my horse archers to start running on up this way. It's right there, right there. The cav is taking for... Oh, and it's infantry, actually, so we're good. Yeah, we're good there. So just bring in my cav. I don't need anybody else, really, I would say. So just leave you guys back there. They are currently just chilling up here. So let's get my melee cav over here. Horse archers, I'm going to have you guys spread out. Because they do have skirmishers themselves. Let's start trying to get closer. The foot variants... So I'll try and get my melee cab to just go charge into their back line. They are going to get some good shots, possibly. Let's see if you guys spread out, too. They're going to start opening up on us. Okay, melee cab, try and go here. Horse archers. You should be returning fire. I don't know why you guys aren't right now. God, I don't like how much damage they're taking. Because this is a good army. It's a, it's a good army, and I don't like that they, this one rebelled from me. Okay, go on in here with all those skirmishers. Yeah, look at that. I've lost 4% of my army already. Okay, go there. You charge into this unit. And then you guys keep going around the back side. Go around the back side. You guys back up again. We'll try and get another charge in. So pull away there. So that guy's slowly losing there. Let's see. Let's get you to charge in here, 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 and here again. You go there. You focus on the back uh, units in the back that you can easily see. And we just need to break you all. I wish I could convince these guys like to join back up with us. Instead of having to kill them all. But sadly, no. God, I'm taking so much damage. Like, my good army is taking out so much damage already. I don't like that. I just made this force. We have kept our men there we go. The Who's left? Somebody's still fighting. Like this. We will you? Smash the enemy. Oh yeah, you're still fighting for some damn reason. Or actually, no, that's a that's an infantry unit. So let's get my horse archers to focus on him. Uh, everything else around here is broken. See, so yeah, let's run those guys down. Eight percent of my army was lost for this. It's okay. Basically, what we'll be doing is I'll probably just continuously merge units. And I'll just keep recruiting new versions of these guys. Because they have really quick recruitment. And so I can just keep trying to replace them. Um, like, I don't feel like I should just the try and continuously retrain runs. the units. I think that'll take way too long for us. So just end that battle there. Finally killed off Captain Radoslav, the traitorous bastard. And now, I just need to get... I'll need to retrain a little bit. Or just get new troops in here a little bit. And then keep making my way over to the east. I have to get rid of one more rebel army. And then we'll be up towards the forces of Hungary. I don't know if you guys have won that, but we don't care about it. So yes, let me now merge everybody together. Merge everybody together, and then I want to grab you and you. Yes. Yeah, there we go. So you'll yes. group up with us, and then uh, I need to make my way over to deal with this guy next. So that's a po that's the Polish army. Um, ooh, is that the guy I want? What do you require? Yeah, it is. So 66% chance. And then I want you to keep an eye on him. So I want to make sure you don't lose sight of him. So there we go. Keep an eye on him. Hopefully, that's the guy. I think it is. Somebody else, right? And hopefully we can actually get him. Yeah, because they don't control anything else. So if they have uh, any other land, I don't know of it. Um, and that general, I hope. Also does look like I was hoping that the Byzantines controlled this, but they do not. Currently, that is controlled by the uh, Fatimid Caliphate, currently, is the one that actually controls that. 
Okay, well that's a good amount of information we got from that. So I'll bring this fleet back. Uh, you make your way back over towards Italy. So that's that's important information for when we eventually start this war back up with the Byzantines. Let's see, we got a Swordsmith's Guild in Rass. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. Okay, but now, uh, let's keep trying to move you over this way. I'm going to keep trying to get rid of this guy. So next turn I'll be able to hit you. My princess, if yeah, he's still here, what's, his, what's the chances right now? Still 66% chance, so next turn, I should be able to try and get to him. Roos is dead. Interesting. Ras has now been upgraded. Okay, get the get the roads. Get those roads. That'll be a good way to get our income boosted around there. Brad, I want to get something, but I, I have a little bit of money. I can, get a, I can get at least a brothel. I can at least get a brothel there on that right now. Trying to train a little bit, and then for the most part... Um, just waiting on you. Sire, what do they have in this city? Very good lord. They have a decent army. Like that, th those dismounted sergeants are pretty good. As long as I don't take too much damage against you guys, you. I should be fine to push on in there without any concern, and then take you guys out. Then I need to have it so that I need to try and see. Uh, I am at agent limit, so I'll have to start moving my spies out. Um, we we want to scout out a bit more of what's going on with the Byzantines before we make my way in there. I also want to make sure I grab some more stuff around here. Honestly, I'd actually like to make sure I can recruit this before we attack them, just so we have a better defense around this area. So this is just the guy trying to follow that one general. Um, source of skilled... Uh, I don't know. I don't want that in a city. So, no. Um... Yes. An honor, my lord. <sighs> we will not rest until you relent. Get One back here and let me seduce you, damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's get rid of you at least now. So I can get rid of this you army. Oh, they want to run, and I now do not have enough movement to get to them. <sighs> Hope we can get there. Uh new family members. Um again, I do need you. Well you guys can actually try and train on this guy. Because again, we need to keep trying to train you guys up. You guys are getting really good, at least. You're almost max. You're eh, still going to be better. Let's see. So you just finished up your thing here. Get the yeah, get the port first. Then I want to get the roads because the roads would give. Oh yeah, yeah, the roads would give an amazing amount of income there. So uh, I don't know if I'm actually get anything right here right now. I might hold off. Why am I getting the public ovens? Yeah, for now I think we're good in Ven uh, Venezia and then there you go. You need some more public order around here, actually. Conversion is going okay. Um, do I have any extra spies around here? Also, I've got rebels around here I'm going to need to get rid of. I have no spies around here. Doc is cheap. Yeah, I need Come to get rid of you guys I don't have the extra troops right now, so we're going to have to hold off on that. Um, let's get public order. Probably better to get the cisterns. That way we also get a little bit more growth around there for right now. But yeah, no. So next turn, I'll try and see if I can get to you. Uh, again, I want to see if I can first bribe this guy away before I start trying to kill them all. So it's it's. I actually want to take the time to get rid of these rebel armies before I finish off uh, Hungary. Ooh, an assassins killed around here. Um, I don't think I can recruit assassins around there just yet. That'd be the worst thing to get around there. I think I'm going to save my money, because I want to be able to get more uh, roads. Uh, fourth Latin Iron Council, Free Council, I can't, I don't want to pay that. Um, let's see, Natural Light, that's my merchant. Oh, the one over there, he was making some good money. Okay, so let's see, so you guys got the uh, the farms built up there. This area is not growing right now, so uh, is that going to actually give us growth? It will. So let's grab that, because we want to get more growth around here so we can grow the castle. Um, Zag grab... That would give me some more law, right? No, actually, well, we don't need corruption around here, so we don't have to worry about that. I think I'm going to save my money. So let's save my money, and then let's see if I can finally catch up with this army. They're just going to run away again, and I won't be able to catch them. Because they keep running too far. Let's see. So they're going to run. Oh my... F I'm closer this time than I was last time. God damn it, this is going to be annoying, just running back and forth trying to kill you guys. I almost need to like put like a, just a random unit here so they can't run away that way again. Also, I don't want to forget, I can get in range. He's supposed to be up here. 66% chance, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now he just has to survive. Uh, but we were able to steal him away. I am now going to try and get him out of here as soon as I can. 
I'll try and pull you back over to Verat. I'm, I think... Yeah, let's grab you some mercenaries around here. Just just so you have something in your army so you can try and survive if they try and attack you. Okay, so they are going to attack me here. Um, I think we're going to fight this. Just because I want to save this guy. And also, like, hey, honestly, I can win this. Uh, I have a bunch of javelins. They have only infantry. Um, and I have cav. So I should be able to win this fight here. As long as they don't bring the army from the city, this guy will survive. Because I just want to get this guy back to my homeland and then have him start leading other armies. Actually, I kind of like the idea of him leading the army that is uh, currently trying to deal with rebels. But they're attacking me, so I'm going to just back up a bit so they have to run over to me a bit more. Let's just say back here. Back there. Cav. Start battle. Then you guys just have fire at will on. And then guard mode. And then I'll wait until you guys get over here. Uh, actually, I might be able to kill the enemy captain before they even get over to us. Because he is this unit here. So if I charge, like, on this side, I might be able to straight up kill him. And then just get them to break more easily. They're already led by just a captain, so they're not going to have the best morale anyways. And then if you guys... Let's see, so right about... Yeah, right about there. Charge on in. See if you'll kill him. Come on, he's right there. And he's dead. Lies dead. He's dead. Now pull back. To hell. Now I want to have to see. I just get out of there. Like this, we now I'm going to wait until you guys charge enemy. into melee. And then I should be able to shatter you guys. So let's get over here. Get ready. Because once they get in melee and charge us, then I'll rear, rear charge them. And that flank should hopefully break them. Let's see, you guys kind of up here. Already shaken. Right about. Come on, get in melee. And charge on in. in and fight to death. Pull back. Let them run. Give them space. Ignore this guy. And then just run everybody else down. Yeah, capture all of those guys. These guys. And then once you're in melee, I'll charge you as well. Beautiful. Uh, this I will run down because you guys are controlled by a different faction, so you will want to get to the Magic 5. There we go. Good job. By the Lord. You were seduced Our away, and now away. you'll fight against your own people. God, this is like my favorite aspect of uh, Medieval 2 sometimes. Stealing generals away from factions is just so fun. It causes so many implications uh, when they join you and they start fighting against their friends and family. Like now, uh, I'll ransom, try to be nice. And they God has army. delivered us unto victory! I don't know if I'll be able to get out of there. I'm going to hope I can get out of there. That's a little awkward if I'm not going to be able to get out of there. There are some more mercenaries. So... I might have to fight my way out. I prefer not to, though. Can I go up and around through that mountain area? I just need to get out of here. Thieves Guild. Ah. Uh... Maybe a thieves guild over there. Oh, I can go over this way. Okay, so I can I can go this way. Also, I honestly, uh, yeah, just just run over there. The infantry can stay behind. Put them on the bridge. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to be walking in your territory, but I'm sorry. I had to get out of there. So keep retraining those guys there. And then I swear to God, I actually even did recruit another unit here just so they can't use that damn bridge. I want you to die. So let's do this. They're gonna run. You should fear us coming, my enemy! They deserve nothing How the less fuck? Than death. You had enough movement to get all the way around. What? Why? At least I have enough movement this time to finish you off. God, the amount of withdrawal range factions have sometimes is fucking ridiculous. But there we go. Now we can at least get into melee here get these guys, deal with this army, then we're going to go straight over to Hungary. I do think I'm going to have that other general that we just seduced. I'm going to have him take command of this army. That's what I want to do. So let's get you guys group up. Guard mode on. And then all my melee cav, all my horse archers. Get you guys forward here. They mainly had a bunch of infantry, primarily. So I'll have you guys group up a bit here. Guard mode on. Start the battle. And then horse archers, all of you guys... Start making your way over to the side. You got some javelins. That's all they have for skirmishers, is just javelins. So we can easily outrange them. So get over here. There we go. 
Just start unloading into them. Ideally, focus your attention onto the, ca the cab if possible. So I'm going to keep adjusting a little bit here until you're in range. There you go. Focus on the cab. Ignore everybody else. Everybody else can just be shot up by my basic archers. So there we go. Stay away from the javelins. Pull off a bit more here. Keep focusing on my cavalry. And then I'll try and get the other one too in a second. Okay, he's already dead. There we go. Good. It took long enough to kill you because you kept running away. Okay, now get to this one. Focus on that guy. I'm almost out of ammo on you guys. Kind of sad how much ammo you guys have. I wish you had a bit more. But then again, that would make you over... I've killed two-thirds of the enemy army. What am I talking about? That would be overpowered if you guys had more ammo. Okay, those guys are now dead. Now just use up the rest of your ammo here. Some of you have just a couple more shots. There we go. And then let's have my melee cav group up here. So far, they're just sitting there. I'll gladly let them be shot at, because I don't need to walk up if I don't need to. I can just let you guys be shot, built to death. See, this this is why I like Serbia. This is an army I can get behind. Are we actually fighting? Oh no, those guys are like running away past me. Because like, hey, Serbia can get you really well with mainly skirmisher ranged armies, which is exactly what I vibe with. So, Look how our there we go. I took no casualties. Will be fucking finally. Let's fuck these guys. Won. Made me run around for three turns trying to kill you. Now, at least, we'll turn around, keep making my way over to Hungary, and we'll go pick up that other general uh, once we get close to Vered. But there we go. Now, there are no more rebels around here. Thank God. Uh, now I wonder what I'm going to have you guys train on. Oh, actually, no, I can have you guys go down uh, here. Yeah, so you guys can go train down here, I'd say. So, like, Who is my over there and right there. Go train on that. And then... I don't think I want a Thieves Guild around here. Let's see. Because I can recruit spies around here. It wouldn't be bad. Just also, it's a coastal city, so I'd love to get a Merchant's Guild, honestly. So I, I, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Also, you can just be disbanded. I literally just had you so you could block this bridge. That's all I needed you to do. Let's see. So, across the army. I don't know who that's referencing. I shouldn't have anybody like that. Mason's Guild around here. Now, okay, now, Mason's Guild, I think I might grab. Because the Mason's Guild, specifically, again... Mason's Guild. So, that would give us... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get Mason's Guild in here. That's a far better thing than the... the Holy let's Bible. see. That's over there again. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep that, keep that up, guys. Yeah, I'll get that there. Let's see. Economy's doing okay. You've got your port over here. I want to get the roads. Core wouldn't be bad. Let's see. Because this would give me... I guess about another 30-ish. Gives me some money. Doesn't give me any more harvest. Does get more growth from trade, though. For the quarries. Is that or this? 70... 30... Generally, it has a 100 less there, but, like, it just barely makes up for it. Both of these, this would give me more growth than this, but I want the roads. I should just, I'm just going to save it for the roads. The roads will do so much more for me. So, we'll just save my cash for right now. And then, this army now. Uh, oh, that's what these guys were. Oh, you guys, yeah, you guys go into Varad. And then, I need to have it. So, this army, um, I can at least get onto the bridge right now. So let's go there. Uh, I can't put you into this castle right now. Because I want to switch who's where. You're a natural commander. Hungarian blood. Dislikes Hungarians. I love that fact. I love that he hates Hungarians as a Hungarian. I love that. Yeah, Spartan commander, natural commander. Doesn't say military-minded around here, but I'm assuming he is. Okay, so... Uh, you are... You're also military-minded. Troops are weary. Uh, yeah, okay. You both are decent, like, decent, honestly. I feel like... I, I kind of want you still to be the one leading. The loyalty is higher. Yeah. Okay, well, you for right now. Um, I'll have you command for now. I'll switch them out next turn. Yes. I do want to try and see if... Um... Okay, he's going there. Spies. Let's get you guys over here. I'm trying to see if I can get more of you over to help out with maybe opening the walls there. 
So get some more spies around here. Yes. See if we can get you guys in here. Just open the gates. Oh, 95% chance to get in. You should be fine. God, they have so many just sergeant men at arms. Holy shit. Yes. Let's see. Yep, you're dead. That's fine. Uh, Rast can get one. You can try and get some over here. And then that's me at cap. And then I already move them off. That's the bishop there. Got a spy over here. Sire. Take you two turns to get there, but I can at least try and get you over this way. I'm going to need it at least, if anything, from the conversion. Um, you guys are probably fine, so I can move this guy out of here. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. So, make your way over here. No further and then... Who is my we've got guy? some spies. Leave at least one spy always in a city if I'm converting it. Multiple if I'm trying to convert it faster. Um, and then I think for right now... Yeah, that, that should be good. It's just needing to bring this army over. I can start sieging this city next turn. I hope we can... Get, I, we have a 64% chance already to open the gates. Hopefully it opens. Alrighty, so now let's see. So now I want to try and have it so... First and foremost, I'm going to have it so... Let's sit you out. This general will be the one that leads us. Ah, uh, I don't have enough movement now if I do that. Oh, no, I technically still do. Ah, uh, it's only because you were the one leading it. Okay, I'll take you out. Nope, now I don't because of the goddammit game. Okay, we'll have to just do it next turn then, that's fine. Okay, so I'll just switch you out. I'll have this guy lead. Uh, make my way forward, kind of stay around the uh, mountains, I would say. And then it does give me more time to get more spies into the city. to guarantee that we can get the gates open. Because you have it up to a 71% chance. This guy will get it up to maybe a 75% chance. Okay, and then I'm going to have you... You're going to be one of the other generals I'm going to try and use um, as a lord to start pushing into the Byzantines. Yes. So I'll bring you on into Ras, because basically what I'll view Sire. is yes. once we take out Sire. this city, I'll have to build it up. This isn't controlled by the Byzantines. Um, I don't forget to buy that city. They, they are still my allies. Um, we'll want to make sure the area is happy, but then once it's happy, we're going to want to start making my way over to start dealing with the Byzantines. So we'll have it so, like, small strike force here, small strike force here, and maybe, like, a big strike force here. It depends on, like, what the, where their armies are, really. Um, but I do have enough money. Roads. So grab that. That gives me another, like, 600. Yep. 700 total with that. And then that will also give me a bit more growth because of the trade. So we'll try and get that. What other areas can get roads right now? So I know how much money I need to save up. So for right now... I earned a ton... Okay, there was just mainly a couple, a few, and then they take 20 fucking turns. Oh god, I forget how long they take to build sometimes. Dog of Pisa is dead. And it looks like they completed that. Oh, fuck. Here come the Mongols. Let's hope I don't have to ever deal with them. Uh, it was actually Portugal is the one that took that out this time. Interesting, okay. Uh, let's see. So, Shabrite. Um, you guys need more growth around here. Better cisterns there. And then, let's see. So yeah, you're going to go watch over here for right now. Also, because you're military-minded, you might be able to get a, a military education while you're here as well. Um, now, let's see, though. Yes. So, first and foremost, let's see how many of you guys can get inside. We already have a 85% uh, chance. Is that enough to open it already? Yes, it is. Just to make sure I don't have to actually get everybody else killed. But no, let's start the battle. We're going to have it so that uh, he's going to kill his family. Awesome. He is now a Kinslayer. Beautiful. So let's now get on in here. Take this out. This will be the end of Hungary. Then we'll need to have it so, yeah, we need to consolidate this territory. And start getting ready for my invasion of the Byzantines. I think enough time has passed. And we've been able to build ourselves up enough that we can now invade them. I will want to have it so basically we're going to try and see if I can get like three little, three groups. This army. And two smaller ones. Um, I might not be able to fund that, but we'll have to see once I take this city. Um, you guys up. You guys up. And then... Another cap. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to have it so my uh, archers are going to be over here. Uh, yeah, I'll have you guys over here. Archers over here. Horse archers over on this side. And basically we're going to try and have it so we want them to go to the city center. And they have a ton of scrim infantry. I want to have it so that I get to unload on them the from every possible angle. Above, so let's get you guys over case. here. You guys go a little bit more to the side here. And then basically we're going to wait until they get into the city center. And then we'll just move everybody else in. Because at the moment, they had... Let's see, did they have any... 
skirmishers at all. I think I may, they mainly had just infantry. Oh wait, I think that's a horse archer. Yeah, they have one. Yes, that is a bow. I was like, is that a bow? I can't see a bow or not. Okay, so they at least have one horse archer, uh, two. So they have at least two horse archers in here. And then basically the one I have is to the like, uh, I chose the wrong side for my archer. Well, my archers can kind of be over here. Yeah, horse archers will be kind of going down this alley. Infantry and everybody else will be going down this way. Um, I just want to wait until you guys are further into the city and really committing to that fight over there. So melee cav, there, there, and there. And then I can now start trying to have it. So I think horse archers, let's get you guys to anyway over here. There is not. Okay, so let's get you guys to kind of run it in right about here, I'd say. So this spot here is where I'm going to want you guys to kind of group up my archers. Uh, I might actually have some of you guys... Uh, putting you on the walls would be the worst idea, maybe. Let's get you guys to run over here. So these would protect me from their cav. So I can have some of you guys. So like, you guys here, you here, 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 and then like these two down on the ground. I try that. Also, I have skirmish mode off, at least for you guys. You're not fast enough to really take advantage of it. These guys over here, though, ask the Magyar nobles. You're going to start unloading onto us. So I'll start focusing on that cav unit. And then my melee cav. Let's see, are they away from the gates yet? Uh, not yet. I can't actually go around that side there. Uh, I'm going to try and run my cav in here now. Horse archers are fine. Yeah, because you're just trading blows, but I have enough men here. We should be okay. I'm a little worried about that melee cav. Kind of just unload into them. If they're going to get in melee, we need to start running back. Yeah, let's just pull back here. Pull out of the city. Back, guys. Don't want you to be idiots. So pull away. Do not fight that guy in melee. Just run away from him. We've got the gates open, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, they do have their other journalist bodyguard over here, so I should back up. Back up, back up. Cav. You're supposed to go over here. Over here, guys. I'm trying to maybe get you to help out with the uh, help out the archers. My horse archers? Are they chasing me? They are not. Number wise, about seven percent so far. Hey, you're being attacked. Melee cab, try and get over here. All of you guys start trying to attack this guy. Start trying to shoot him if you can. Oh yeah, there you go. Good amount of damage, and he's running. Okay. Oh, 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 guys, that's the wrong fucking way. Stop going this way. Go over here. Okay, that's not where I want you guys to go. Okay. Horse archers. They'd get up around here. Okay, so let's try and get you guys. What is this? That's an infantry unit. Let's get you guys back inside. So, group on up here again. You guys, if don't run towards the infantry, run away from them. Go around over this way. Okay, go over here. There, 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 and there. Archers. Yeah, they're bringing more men over this way. So let's back you guys up. Cavalry. They're actually listening this time. Horse archers. Let's see. Yeah, focus on those javelins. Get a little bit closer. Get away from the walls. There, 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 there. All of you, I'd say... Javelins are on the walls. I'm gonna ignore them. I feel like for right now, you guys have to like stay around there. Infantry, I should bring you guys in now at this point. So I'll bring you on in. Let's try trying to go after these guys. Archers, you're supposed to be backing up more. I don't want you to waste your ammo into those units if you possibly can. So do that. Horse archers, yeah, keep being closer. Up here. Let's see, those are missile cav. So focus the missile cav. Focus them down. Then keep trying to focus on the units they have in the city center. Melee cav, I'm gonna be wait until I see what they do against my infantry. Because they start fighting my infantry, I can then kinda go around and try and hit them. Let's see, these are the general's bodyguard that's now fighting you. So let's get you guys. Oh, they have some of their men behind us. Uh, start making your way back this way. Try and push through them. If you can. Yeah, focus your attention on this way. We're kind of surrounded right now with my horse archers. I need to try and get over here. Uh, melee cav. 
If we Let's try and come over and here, hit those javelins. Be yeah, because you're about to start fighting them. Number wise, 17 to 16, so pretty even. You're supposed to be fighting in melee, guys. Don't don't be trying to like run away. Because you don't have the worst stats. I just didn't notice that they had those units behind me. So my horse archers are probably dead. You might survive. My archers here. Get the bow backing away. Let's get my archers to now go in here. My cavalry. You're trying to go flank these guys so my infantry can get on in. Horse archers have won their fight. Pull back. And then try and have it so that you can keep firing the body into the bodyguard. Just do not try and fight him in melee. Just try and pull back. Try and just keep shooting him. Let's see, 22 to 18. You gonna just fight me? No, you're not gonna chase me. Okay, get back in here. Keep shooting him. Melee cab. Yep, there we go. The javelins are breaking. So once the javelins are captured, I can go hit this guy. Then that's where we're gonna start really seeing the numbers go in my favor. Oh, okay, hit these guys first if you can. Shaken. Come on, break. Wait for him, they're close. Okay. Let's get you guys back around here. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, shoot into him. He's got five guys left now. Maybe he'll just win in melee, actually. Uh, I shouldn't push my luck. So pull back, guys. Pull back, pull back, pull back. I hope I recover a good chunk of you guys. Okay, those guys have now broken. Half the enemy army is now dead. Let's push it in here. Break that. There we go. Break those guys. Okay, Malakav. Let's go try and have you help out against the general's bodyguard. Infantry, keep making your way towards the city center. And then my archers, at the moment... Actually, I think I should bring my Malakav over that way. Yeah. I want you to help out the general's bodyguard, but... I think for right now, I just need you guys to keep just withdrawing. Yeah, I need to go help out my archers. Let's see, you guys, where are you fighting? Oh, the general's bodyguard came to us. Oh, never mind. He's running. Come on, see if you can finish him off. You know, let's go help out over here because my archers, you do well, but you're in a really good position right now for me to try and just flank you. So cavalry, go over here. Go try and hit these guys. Infantry, keep trying to push on in towards the city center. There we go. Enemy general's dead. And then my horse archers are not doing the best. Yeah, my light cab, just ignore them. There we go, yeah, you guys are all real broken. Yeah, run them all down. Capture all of those guys. Infantry, keep fighting these guys. Uh, melee cav, try and not be bloody. fighting they them here. Half their men. Yeah, back up. No, go here, here, over here, and over here. There we go, much better. Yeah, 76. Uh, percent and they just have the mounted sergeants here now one of the generals is still alive don't know where and you guys are now just stuck there let's see if you guys get out of there archers just form up here it's like right there and then right there oh there's the general's bodyguard right there uh finish him off before my archers get over here because my infantry is doing good damage now. You guys are making your way into the city. Just try and finish off the other general's bodyguard. And he ran to his infantry. But there we go. Uh, oh, I should have you come on in. You're actually joining on in the fight. You should at least command a little bit. But no, that should now be the end of Hungary. Now we'll be taking some time to kind of build ourselves up now. Because yeah, we killed both the general's bodyguards there. Don't know which one I can get. Um, but there we go. Now hopefully the city makes a decent amount of money. So we'll have to try and build this up. Hopefully that is uh, so it's not that uh, unhappy. And then again, we need to try and make those three little armies. We'll be using my spies to try and open up the gates, and I need to take those three castles from the Byzantines all at once, basically. So let us uh, sack it. He's 3,900. I love that. Let's see. Lower the taxes, please. Pair this, and then I need to start trying to convert this as quickly as possible. King Hungary is dead. Damage the mines. But now, Hungary is dead. Perfect. It makes me a decent amount of money, too. So now let's have it so uh, we already got a watchtower over there. 
I'll, I'll, I'll wait until a little longer. I want to get more washouts around here, but I can wait. And if anything at all, um, I need you. Let's see for castles. It's usually the Axe Militia unit is the free upkeep. But I can't recruit Axe Militia around here, so I actually need to upgrade this. Um, actually, wait. I can't recruit Axe Militia at all here. Um, what am I going to want to get for free upkeep then around here? Let's try these guys. Let's try you and see if you're free upkeep. I think he is. Um, because then I can try and have it so you can... Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm going to have to finish off the, uh, remnants of Hungary for sure. But, uh, now at least we've got this. I'm going to have my spies start scouting out. And start trying to figure out... Well, actually have you guys help convert first, so... Pull back. Once we get some good conversion, then we'll start scouting out the lands of the Byzantines and see how are we going to go about attacking them. Um, but let me do one more intern. Kind of want to at least see where we leave off for today. And then I think we'll be done for right now. Because now at this point, with Hungary dead, we've got a, a pretty good sizable... We've been able to expand quite nicely um, since my war with the Byzantines last. And I think now we can try and do something. I am debating if I should try and have like the, my main elite army go straight for Constantinople, though. Because that could make us a ton of money. I know I, I know I really want to hit the castles first, because if we can take the castles, that'll make it easier for us to hold what we take from the Byzantines. Rebellion in Kiev! They actually might be back now. Uh, but you know, assassins, you guys are now going to have another person to keep trying to assassinate. But yeah, no, so now at this point in time, we'll just be target. trying to prepare... Oh, come on! That guy was doing so well, and now he fucking dies? Please tell me it was the guy that was... Yeah, okay. It was at least the other guy that was uh, lower stats. But no, at least at this point in time now, uh, we'll probably be done for today at this point. Uh, we've been able to do some pretty good amount of damage to Hungary. We now have taken their lands. Oh, God, this makes a good amount of money. Now we just need to start kind of consolidating this area and building it up and having it so that we can actually... Like, I'll probably be having this, like, we'll first deal with these rebels, the remnants of Hungary. And then once they're all out of the way, that's when we can start trying to make my way in uh, to start trying to deal with the Byzantines again. So in the meantime, hey, we just have some more rebels to crush. But uh, I, I think we'll be done for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Is this guy free upkeep? Just before I forget. No, he's not. God damn it. What units are free upkeep around here? It's like, seriously. Okay, but I will be done for today. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? But this is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.